Hello, my name is Hermiga. I am Leila, also known as Miss Bohemia. And to know me is to know that I am obsessed and in love with anything and everything Moxie roller skates, as you can see. I have my OG Moxie lollies in pineapple and my second pair of Moxie lollies in the floss. And there's a video on both of them, and you can see anything and everything skate related in this playlist here. Basically, I have unboxed both my Moxie lollies. In that playlist i have installed numerous things on skates in that playlist so anything and everything that i do in this video you can find in that playlist so for the sake of brevity because there's a lot to do i assume that if i'm not going in depth about something it's because it's in the playlist what is happening here today i am unboxing my rare strawberry lollies the strawberry color is one that has been discontinued and i scoured and scoured and scoured every site you could think of ebay poshmark mercari amazon everything that i could think of skate shops but it's completely sold out the color was discontinued last year i locked out an offer up I found this really cool skater chick up in Oregon who had the strawberry pinks in my size, brand new, never worn. Ta-da! There's their box. I am so in love with them. I've been waiting for all the moving parts that I want to put on my skates. As you can see, I go all out with my skates and they pretty much have the basic theme that this is going to follow. Leopard print, toe caps and laces, grindstone toe stops and a feminist heart and I on each side and then some main theme of the skates. My pineapple lollies have a rosy the riveter that are flipping you off. My floss lollies have this patch which says don't tell me to smile. So in this video I'm going to reveal what the look of the rare strawberry lollies will be. It came with the laces, it came with the moxie little skate keyring. It didn't have the crop tool which is fine because I have my own tool anyway and I already have a bunch of other crop tools so I don't need any more. Basically in this video I'm just going to be setting up my skates. It's not a review of the lollies. I already have that in the playlist. I'm not going to teach you how to install the toe stops or the toe caps or the laces or the embellishments none of that or how to check the wheels or the trucks because I already do that in other videos so anything in depth go ahead and view those in this one i'm basically showing you my beautiful rare strawberry pink lollies and i'm going to set up their whole new look and that's it i'm going to try to not talk so that most of the video will be me fast forwarding and once a stage of things is done i'll talk because otherwise it can become a pretty long video <laughs> i'm trying to save you guys some time but the basic gist is i'm going to be changing the toe stops i'm going to be installing the toe caps i'm going to be lacing them up i'm going to be adding the decor the patches and once all of that is done i'm going to be testing the wheels and the trucks and when i'm going to be lacing them up i'm going to put my feet in there because last time i didn't do that with the floss lollies and it was a headache and a nightmare so i have found that it's better to do all of that with your foot in there that's like one of the main <laughs> takeaways from the last video i also wasted a lot of time trying to prepare the decor so let me just show you everything these are the grindstone toe stops that are going to go it's a rare edition grindstone it goes with a color palette of my new skates i highly recommend grindstone incredible toe stops they come in long stem or short stem and you get a pretty wide surface if you like toe stops and i do right now at this stage of my skate journey obviously the laces and now discontinued toe caps by roller stuff oh i'm also going to be changing the cushions from medium cushions that the little moxie lollies come with to soft cushions and yes there's a video on that in my playlist and this is going to be something i'm going to experiment with the theme of my skates is don't touch my hair and she's going to go over here feminist heart and so originally, before I really fully delved into the palette, I don't know, does this go? I don't think so. So this was going to be the original eye, but then I wasn't sure. So then this was going to be the eye because I thought I'll keep the palette simple, but they were, they felt like they're too big. And then I settled on these. And so of course, when I was putting the hole in this one, I broke off some lashes. So I don't know if this is too small. The Etsy seller had this listed as extra large. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn and veering between these and these. So these feel too small. I was going to go with two eyes. And right now, as far as color palette goes, this gives it some light so maybe this will be a temporary eye and eventually i'll change it i don't really like this yeah it feels like it looks like a freaking spider so this is kind of like my artistic conundrum with the skates but first step that i'm going to be doing is changing the cushions 
and then I'm gonna jump into the rest. So, not gonna talk. And ideally, you have yourself a power dime tool. I believe this is the Y3. And depending on the skate you have, you might need a different one. But for the Moxie Lollies, this one is ideal. One pair of skates done. I basically changed from medium to soft cushions because I like like my setup to be really wiggly. <laughs> it gives me more power in the, for me in the sense that the slightest movement helps my skates turn and it gives me looser trucks and I like it that way. So it's just a personal preference and it's something that I have to fully test once I'm skating to see how I like them exactly and that's where you adjust them. So on to the next pair. Second pair done. I'm going to take out these toe steps to put these in more as soon as they're off. Now I'm just going to do the same with the skates, install this, install that, but they kind of have to be sandwiched together and then the laces. So now I'm just going to jump into the whole process and try to not talk for the sake of brevity. A lot of people, when they install the toe cap, put the toe cap first and then the washer and then the screw thingy. You don't want to do it that way because if the toe cap is up against the plate, it might go into the plate, dull out the ridges, and eventually you're going to end up with a broken toe cap that can't hold in the toe stop and you're going to have to replace the whole thing, which is quite a costly replacement. So the way I've been doing it just to safeguard my plate is do the washer, the screw thingy, the toe cap, and then this goes in that way. It can be a pain because the screw thing is under the toe cap. So sometimes if you have to adjust, you have to loosen up the laces. So you kind of want to make sure from the get-go that you're getting toe stop where you want it to be. I get long stem ones because I've been used to it. Eventually, I think I'm going to get, they're going to feel like they're on my way. So I might have to switch to short stem because I already feel that even though I have long stem toe stops, I keep going in deeper and deeper. That's just a little anecdotal thing. So now I'm just going to be doing my adjustments and playing around with what it is that I want. having a bolt bolt is that what it's called i can't remove the bolt off this how can i not remove it is it stuck it's been quite the adventure i'm trying to not talk too much and now this thing the threads were different on the top versus the bottom meaning that the nut it's called the nut i keep forgetting what it's called wasn't coming out and then i didn't want the nut damaged because i wanted to be able to work with the new toe stops and hopefully the plate's intact hopefully nothing's wrong hopefully the nut's fine so i'm a little concerned how did i get it off my husband had to saw off the top portion of these toe stops i don't want them anyway but i uh, wow <laughs> on i go with the show It was a faulty toe step situation. This is going perfectly. I'm so happy. I was worried. I know I'm talking, but one thing I do want to know too is I'm doing this skate setup with toe steps that are farther up than my other two. I want to see if that helps me with my dancing.
one skate down, next one in the lineup of the Don't Touch My Hair patch, which will hopefully fit. I am torn. This is too big. This is too small. This is the right look. So we'll see. I'll figure it out by the end of the video. I'm done. As you can see, I hate doing the lacing up, especially because I'm so fucking obsessed with having my patches. Life is easier if you don't have patches on your skates, honestly, because it's a pain to align them just right. I just don't know if I'm feeling this eye. So I just wish the other eye was bigger. Do I install the second eye like a little farther down? Yeah, I think this looks cuter. One eye is okay. So a little eye with lashes. Or do I do two? I don't know. But two kind of to like compensate for the fact that these eyes are small. I think I'm gonna do two. Might as well have my setup just how I like it. Okay. This is absolutely irrelevant. It's just part of my skate likes and setup. So personal preference thing. There are a few complications, but all in all, I'm really happy with the look of my new skates. At some point in the floss and the strawberry setup, I'm going to change them to different wheels. So stay tuned for that. That will come up in an upcoming video. I just want to break in the outdoor wheels a little bit and the boots by skating outside before I skate indoors with them and switch out the setup. I like it. I like the look. So this is the color palette. Pretty much black, gold, yellow, pink kind of a vibe. And I'm very happy with my new baby. Hopefully this will come out well and smooth again. Everything is explained in the playlist. One thing I forgot to do is check my wheels. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that in silence too, because that's also explained in one of the videos. I think they're good enough for now. As you can see, I have to pretty much test them out, wear them, figure them out. Anytime you skate, have your skate tool with you in case you do have issues with your wheels or your toe stops or your trucks. You're ready to go and fix them and you don't have to miss out on a skate because of some issue coming up. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so excited! I finally have my three babies set up. I think this is all the moxie skates I need. If ever I should invest in other skates, I'll try something else at some point. The dream is Harley at some point, but I am so happy with my three babies. They're my masterpieces. And that's it. I think I covered it all. I mean, I didn't really cover much. I just wanted to share the unboxing and the dressing up of these new babies, the two eyes. This worked out. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like these videos and you like my new babies, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more. There's plenty of content in my channel, so go there, check it out. Drop me a line, say hello, and that's it. See you in the next one. Ciao for now.